right. Double hand push, low posture parry and punch, single hand push to the right arm, right twist in the arm, seizing the moment, push, neutralize, strike with right palm, neutralize, push, neutralize, strike with right elbow, and then we do the pluck and round. So that's what we have. Now, if I can just talk to you, what I'm going to do is, is do it to the different direction just so we can see it on the camera. This because strike with right palm, neutralize, push, neutralize, strike with right elbow. And the problem you've got here is the elbow is going straight into your solar plexus. But we've still got something going for us, we've got control of this elbow. So the next move we're going to do is called pluck and ram. If you actually put the pluck on, what you do is bring this arm down and pluck down. But if we do that, it kills the sequence. So we have to just show that we're doing the pluck and ram and then go forward. It's just the same as we did before, it is a repeat move. And as Karen's done the strike with right elbow, I already stepped back. And the description of the footwork on block and round is you step back with the left leg and then do the pluck. But we don't do that, we're just going to show it and then step forwards behind. And at this point, the uh, technique, the application would be to take uh, your partner over your front leg that's now behind me. So the footwork is, I've already stepped back with my left leg, and now I step forwards with my right and do the pluck and round. Yeah. When we've done this pluck and round, the picture shows a backwards fist like that, like that. It shows it coming up like that, and it says strike the face, wait for me. It works. Now, the reason I suspect is because the other pluck and round seems to be open palm and you're just taking somebody over a back. Is if you, only, if you turn your arm that way, it puts this hard bone to the front. So, if you actually do it, if you just come with your palm open, it, it will cause damage, there's no question. But the picture seems to more show a, a tear, a tear, a, a a, a turning strike to the front. Clearly, we're not going to put that on in the part before, but it's just an interesting point about the picture that it does seem to show this backwards flex. Doesn't say anything. In Aikido, like you know, yeah. what you've just done there is done with the bar, with the bar open like that. Yeah, yeah, but you're still using this bone. Yeah, exactly, yeah. You're using the bone. So uh, I'm not, I can't honestly tell you that that's. It doesn't say in the text, but the picture does seem to show it like that, which you'll see when you're in the middle. So uh, on this particular point, when we're doing the block and run, that we come through, if you really want to be picky about it, you'd show a fist at this point. The thing is, like a lot of this though, because can is going to escape, in the reality of it when we're actually practicing, he'll ward off before I even get there. So this is the point about these pictures. You don't actually get to complete the moves anyway, but we're trying to cover the application. So as I mentioned before, that was done in the wrong direction from how we're doing the, at the fall. So what we'll do now is I'll start from scratch and we'll get it to that point, and then we'll see where the movement lives. So.